Hey Canucks fans, finally, it is game day. The Canucks open the 2022-2023 season in Edmonton against the Oilers. I'm Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Wednesday, October the 12th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope you can join me tonight at 11 p.m for my nightly live stream where we'll break down the game. And I'll also be appearing on another uh, post-game live stream tonight. I can't announce it yet. I'll, I'm allowed to announce it a little bit later. So look for my social media, especially on Twitter, and I'll explain it all there. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand. A slight scare in that Oliver ekman Larson did not practice this morning in Edmonton. So people were freaking out, wondering if he was the latest of our defensemen to get injured joining Tyler Myers and Travis Dermott on the IR, or at least missing games. But thankfully, Bruce Boudreau put all those fears to bed, and he said, no, he was simply stretching. He was stretching. Um, so that's that's a lot of stretching. So I hope he's okay. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to be really, really limber for tonight's game. But let's not worry. Apparently, Oliver ekman Larson is playing. So the Canucks lined up today in practice, as they did yesterday, and that's with Besser in, McKayev not in just yet. So this is how the Canucks will line up tonight for their season opener facing McDavid on the first line and, Mc and Dreisaitl on their second line. Top line for the Canucks, Miller, Pearson, and Besser. Second line for the Canucks will be Pedersen with Kuzmenko and Hoglander. A third line of Horvat, Podkosen, and Garland. And a fourth line with Niels Amon centering Dakota Joshua and Curtis Lazar. On the blue line, although they practiced Rathbone and Pullman, it's going to be OEL and Pullman, Shen and Hughes, and then the newly acquired Riley Stillman with Kyle Burrell. So yes, Stillman looks like he will draw in ahead of Jack Rathbone. And of course, Thatcher Demko in net. So right away, uh, not, not much to say there about the lines. I really like the third line. I think that's a pretty strong third line, Horvat. Pod Colson and Garland will be interesting to see um, who gets tasked with trying to shut down McDavid and who gets tasked with trying to shut down dry side. Although it's not a perfect science because Edmonton as the home team will have final change. So really Jay Woodcroft can decide who he wants to try and get his two superstars out against. So we'll see well, that's something to track all night for sure. I want you to drop right now in the score prediction, uh, sorry, in the comments, your score prediction and your first Canucks goal score. And it's kind of a tradition of mine. I'm going to go 4-2 Canucks, and I'm going to use that prediction for the entire season until it actually happens, and then I'll change it. So for tonight, I'm going 4-2 Canucks with Andre Kuzmenko scoring the first goal of the game. Let me know your score prediction. You're allowed to change yours, even though I'm not changing mine. So give me your score prediction, and give me your prediction for the first Canucks goal score in the comments below. And as the Canucks look to play their first game tonight, I think it's a good time for predictions. So I would also love to hear your predictions of their final record and their final placing in the Pacific. Put that in the comments below as well. So it's going to be a big comment. It's going to be score prediction. It's going to be goal score prediction. It's going to be record prediction. And it's going to be placing prediction. I've always said I think the Canucks are going to get 98 points for third in the Pacific. Behind the two Alberta teams, doesn't matter if it's Calgary, Edmonton, or Edmonton, Calgary. But I do think the Canucks have the potential to finish third in the Pacific. And 98 points is basically 16 games over 500, the way they count 500. It's not perfect wins against losses, um, including extra time losses. It's wins against regulation losses. So an easy way to figure it out is 98 points. You subtract 82 games, 98 minus 82, 16. So that's a, a record of 16 games over 500. Basically every point you get over 82 that's how many games over 500 you are. And that's really important to remember uh, because of what I'm going to explain now. So I think the Canucks are going to finish 44, 28, and 10. 44 wins, 28 regulation losses, 10 extra time losses. 44 times 2 is 88 points plus 10 extra points. So there's my 98 points. But if you strike away those 10, you go just go 44 minus 28, and there's your 16 games over 500. So regardless of how you slice it, that's what I think the Canucks are going to do. 54. Sorry, 44, 28, and 10 for 98 points, third in the Pacific Division. If you're wondering how the Canucks did last year, well, they started off horribly under Travis Green. They were 8, 
15 and two in their first 25 games. Eight, 15 and two, that put them on pace for 59 points for the season. Then when Boudreaux came over, they ended up being going 32, 15 and 10. 32, 15 and 10, is that right? 32, 15, that makes 47 and 10, yeah, that makes 57. So they went 32, 15 and 10, that means they're 17, 32 minus 15, that means they're 17 games over 500 with Boudreaux. So if you're 17 games over 500, that's a 99 point season. But the fact that Boudreaux did that in two thirds of a season, if you extrapolate that over a full season, technically they played on a 106 point pace for the time that Boudreaux was there. I don't think the Canucks are gonna to get to 106 points. I do think though that they can get to that 99, 98 point mark. So that's what that's where I come up with my prediction of 98 points 44 28 and 10 98 points in 82 games 16 games over 500. If you want me to break it down a little bit further i've been saying that thatcher demko should play about 57 games spencer martin should start about 25 if you want to go a perfect two-thirds one-third actually uh, uh, yeah yeah 55 and 27 that's what we use two-thirds one-third and it, of the 44 wins so let's say demko gets 30 of those 44 wins so 30 out of 55, just over half the games that Demko has to win. And then Martin, doesn't even, he, he, he can do even worse. He only needs 14 wins, 30 plus 14, 14 wins in his 27 starts. He's basically got to go 500. So I think when you break it down like that, it seems kind of realistic. Demko gets 30 wins. Martin gets 14 wins. There's your 44. I think the Canucks are going to go 44, 28, and 10. So Canucks fans, as we start up the season, and you can you put anything in the comments. Tell me how excited you are for the season to start. But I want to know, what's your score prediction for tonight? 4-2, Canucks. Who's your first Canucks goal scorer? Andre Kuzmenko for me. What's your prediction for their record? 44-28-10 and 10 for me. And then what place are they going to come in Pacific? I say third. Put all that in the comments below. I'd love to generate some discussion. And don't forget, look for me on social so I can announce. I'll be announcing later what post-game live stream I'll be on. And then my own show at 11 p.m. Whew. Okay, digest all that and get excited because the Canucks kick off the 2022-2023 season tonight. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate and Perform and Transform Personal Training and Weight Loss. Thank you to legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, and to Hall of Fame and franchise members. And thanks to all of you as well. Subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, leave a tip, a super thanks if you like to, Become a member or upgrade your membership you like to. And definitely leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below with those four things. Score prediction, first Canucks goal score, record prediction, placing in the Pacific. And let's get going. It's time. After a long off season, a very, very uh, busy off season, it is time to drop the puck for the Canucks on their 2022-2023 season. Get hyped, get excited, get pumped, get jacked, whatever verb you want to use. Do it. God bless and go Canucks go.